वसुदेव उपश्रुत्य भ्रातरम नंद मागतम ज्ञातवा दत्तक्रम राज्ञे यो तदव मोचनम when vasudeva heard that nanda maharaj is very dear friend and brother had come to the mathura and already paid the taxes to kamsa he went to nanda maharaj residence purport Vasudeva and Nanda Maharaj were so intimately connected that they lived like brothers. Furthermore, it also happens in our also life when we say soul mate at the level of soul when we are very near. in the previous birth also so we sometime you see the people are very connected it seems very connected doesn't matter girls or girls boys or boys boys or girl or girls or boys like this so they are very intimately from inside at the level of heart they are so connected so it's all matter of previous life connection also furthermore it is learned from the notes of sri pad madhavacharya that vasudeva and nanda maharaj were step brothers vasudeva's father sursena married a vaishya girl a girl from business family and from her nanda maharaj was born later nanda maharaj himself married a vaishya girl yashoda therefore his family is celebrated as a vaishya family we all are knowing what is the meaning of vaishya family so i don't need to describe or say much about this and krishna identifying himself as their son took charge of vaishya activities krishna go raksha vanijyam balarama represents plowing the land for agriculture and therefore always carries in his hand a plow whereas krishna tends cows and therefore carries a flute in his hand thus the two brothers represents कृषि रक्षया एंड गो रक्षया कृषि रक्षया बलराम एंड गो रक्षया श्री कृष्ण इट इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट दैट इवन गॉड सो इट्स वेरी स्वीट दैट इवन गॉड कमिंग ऑन दिस अर्थ एंड in the middle of their leela all this nice past times they they do their activities they become very simple for them just by thinking anything is possible to do sing sitting at their place but for the leela vistar to give pleasure to the devotees actually they come and they do swayam bhagwan krishna stu swayam bhagwan swayam himself is god and he is doing different kind becoming a cow hard boy anbal dev who is shankar chana shesh avatar himself becomes the agriculture boy devotee is surprised to see all these things or not surprised to inside devotee is so pleased and in this please mood 
tears comes out with the eyes of the devotees that what our is today why he need to do all this leela but he is doing why because he is akinchan gochar ahe to ki causeless mercy he has i think personally i feel that god's main work is to give the pleasure to devotees that's why he is performing all these things becoming god boy taking flute in the hand and want with all this leela to show the devotee that more and more the time of their life should be in meditation for their is to them they want actually they like because they also please it's not only the matter that they are getting pleasure this is also very important that they are also give they want to give pleasure and at the same time they want to enjoy this pleasure also but god has all opulence is there he no need but his nature is not like that only devotee can understand his nature is to give to pleasure and to relish pleasure in any kind of leela either it is a rasik rasik leela with rana radha nani with manjaris and sakhis in kunja nikunja nivrtti nikunja these all leelas are to please devotee and with the pleasure of devotee when he watch that how much my devotee is involved going deep and deep in my past time this all relishing all this nectarian sweetness of this leela he is so much pleased and what as a result it happens when he see the regularly devotees are more and more going deep they don't want to come out he increase the mood more and more of this devotee this devotee one day it happens the time comes the devotee never comes out of this mood this happens the total meaning of performing their leela is only this <laughs> that my devotee should go deep and never come out radha rani is also very selfish in this context krishna is also very selfish he doesn't want my devotee should go any other place radha rani also want once someone came to me i don't want to let go somewhere else she is very selfish krishna is also very selfish both because apanatva and this happens when the connection with this sweet mood increased by deep daily practice it not happens because of us yeah we do we have to do this is true but when we do and when they see and they catch oh this person now he started already so don't don't let him go don't let her go come catch and then put the hand on his neck and push him inside this rasa more and more more and more more and more and the time comes <laughs> the devotee cannot come out doesn't matter what are the circumstances he so goes in this deep all these things it is very difficult or we can say that they arrange something like this that they can devotees cannot come out this all happens because of their love the core the center of all these things when devotees start loving then devotee doesn't know that how much they can love how much radha rani can love a devotee devotee never know this 
and this is true our is like 0.001% but their love is more than 100% we cannot understand we can just feel understanding is a matter of mind feeling is the matter of heart <laughs> so we no need to understand going doing and just feeling matter of reading of scriptures is also there for a devotee the feel that what is written that's why we go very slowly in all the verses and you might have been seen when we are reading radha ra sudhani di or whenever how nicely the devotees are reading word by word very slowly that each and every devotee the thing should be very clear and by the developing their mood more, more and more different sharing flavor should come out with the core of the heart of devotee and this happening in our uh, everyday sharing i am very i am not so intelligent but when i see the other devotees how they are glorifying how they are sharing my heart becomes very very joyful text 21 tam drishtva sa suthaya deha pran mi vagatam prita priyatamam dubhyam sakaje prem bihavala when nand maharaj heard that vasudeva had come he was overwhelmed with love and affection being as pleased as if his body had regained its, its life seeing vasudeva suddenly present he got up and embraced him with both arms opar nanda maharaj was older than vasudeva nanda maharaj was older than vasudeva therefore nanda maharaj embraced him and vasudeva offered him namaskar here is one small simple teaching is there between older and younger how a older welcome and how a younger should well should respect the need to give regard text 22 pujita sukhmasina prishtva nama emadrita prasakt dhi swatm jayo ridma vishampate o maharaj parikshit having thus been received and welcomed by maharaj with honor vasudeva sat down very peacefully and inquired about his own two sons because of intense love for them text 23 drishtya bhrata pravayas idanim prajasyate prajashaya nivrutasya praja yat samapadyata my dear brother nand maharaj at an advanced age you had no son at all and we are hopeless of having one therefore that you now have a son is a sign of great fortune proper at an advanced age one generally cannot beget a male child if by chance one does beget a child at this age the child is generally female 
Thus Vasudeva indirectly asked Nanda Maharaj whether he had actually begotten a male child or a female child. Vasudeva knew that Yashoda had given birth to a female child whom he had stolen and replaced with a male child. This was a great mystery and Vasudeva wanted to determine whether this mystery was already known to Nanda Maharaj. On inquiring, however, however, he was confident that the mystery of Krishna's birth and his being placed in the care of Yashoda was still hidden. There was no danger, since Kamsa at least could not learn what had already happened. So the totally till now that uh, Krishna is in Nanda Baba and Yasoda house, it is totally secretly from Kamsa was means Kamsa was not knowing all these these things. That where is this baby? Text 24. Dristiya sansar chakresmin vartamana punar bhava upalabdhu bhavanadya durlabham priya darsanam. It is also by good fortune that I am seeing you, having obtained this opportunity. This Vasudeva is saying, I feel as if I have taken birth again. Even though one is present in this world to meet with intimate friends and dear relatives in this material world is extremely difficult. Purport. Vasudeva had been imprisoned by Kamsa and therefore although present in Mathura He was unable to see Nanda Maharaj for many years. Therefore, when they met again, Vasudeva considered this meeting to be another birth. Text 25 Naikatra Priya Samvasa Suhridam Chitra Karmanam Ogena Vyu Mananam Pallavanam Strutso Yatha. Many planks and sticks, unable to stay together, are carried away by the force of a reverse wave. Similarly, although we are in intimately Related with friends and family members, we are unable to stay together because of our varied past deeds and the waves of time. Yeah, this is very true. Generally, in the material world, we see it happens. It happens because of the necessity. It happens because of the circumstances. It happens because of the enthusiasm. It happens because of passion. There is no one reason 
behind it that it happens for this only. No. So it's all in the hand of time. Parents are somewhere, children are somewhere, eh? sometime wife you working in 25 kilometers far from the staying place, husband is working 25 kilometers far from this place and sometime it was in the transfer and posting it happens that sometime they transfer from different place. So this happens. Vasudeva was lamenting because he and Ananda Maharaj could not live together. <clears throat> Yet how could they live together? How it is possible? Vasudeva wants that all of us, even if intimately related, are carried away by the waves of time, according to the results of past karma also. Both are connected, present and past karma. The creation of any situation in present life is a result of past karma also. This is very important. Text 26. Kachit Pasabhyam Nirujam Uriyambut Trinvirudham Prihadvanam Taddhuna Yatrasetvam Suridvita Kachit Pasabhyam Nirujam Uriyambu Britrin Virudham Prihadvadvanam Taddhuna Yatrasetvam Suridvita Sanskrit. What to do? <laughs> One time, if I am not correct, I have to read again. My dear friend, Nanda Maharaj, in the place where you are living with other friends, is the forest favorable for the animals, the cows? I hope there is no disease or inconvenience. The place must be full of water, grass, and other plants. Purple. For human happiness, one must care for the animals. Especially the cows. Vasudeva therefore inquired whether there Vasudeva therefore inquired whether there was a good arrangement for the animals where Nand Maharaj lived. For the proper pursuit of human happiness, there must be arrangements for the protection of cows. This means that there must be forest and adequate pasturing grounds full of grass and water. At that time it was not like that, that cows were tying with the rope having knots. Cows were completely free grazing in the open area and there was plenty for them to graze. If the animals are happy, there will be an ample supply of milk from which human beings will benefit by deriving many milk products with which to live happily.
एज एंजॉयड इन भगवद गीता कृषि गोरक्षा वाणिज्यम वैश्य कर्मा स्वभाजनम विदाउट गिविंग प्रॉपर फैसिलिटीज टू द एनिमल्स हाउ कैन ह्यूमन सोसाइटी बी हैप्पी दैट पीपल आर रेजिंग कैटल टू सेंड टू द स्लाउटर हाउस is a great sin by this demoniac enterprise people are ruining their chance for a truly human life cow the slaughter house and the cow killing is the big matter as well as other animals also are considered here because they are not giving any importance to the instructions of krishna the advancement of their so called civilization resembles the crazy efforts of men in a lunatic asylum राकर्मम सुत कंचन मात्रा स भद्वजे तातम भवंत मनमानो भवद्यामुपलालि माई सन बलदेव बीइंग रेस्ड बाय यू एंड योर वाइफ यशोदा देवी कंसीडर्स यू हिज फादर एंड मदर इज ही लिविंग वेरी पीसफुली इन योर होम With his real mother Rohin, Vasudev Maharaj asks to Nanda. Text twenty-eight. Un sa stri vargo vihita suhido hum ahinu bhavita na teshu klishya mane su tri vargo arthai kalpite. When one's friend and relatives are properly situated. when one's friends and relatives are properly situated one's religion economic development and sense gratification as described in the vedic literatures when one's friends and relatives are properly situated one's religion economic development and sense gratification as described in the vedic literature are beneficial so all type of this uh, material desires if it is said over here it's based as per the vedic literature what vedas are saying then it's okay not only vedas are saying giving their comment given commentary on all these verses different verses in sanskrit time by time by our acharya by our gurudev as per the traditional and modern way of teaching if it is the if life is as follows then this is it is said over here this is beneficial vedic scriptures means not only in the these books are written time by time as per the commentary on all these verses and things that to make it more easy to understand 
directly if we will go to read veda and directly will if we read the translation we we cannot understand veda for understanding definitely i need we need a spiritual master got it i think this i what as per my knowledge i am saying veda i cannot understand directly i have to go to some spiritual master, master or some pandit or gyani to understand this or even after this time by time different bona fide acharyas people are coming and saying no it is okay but actually what is the meaning of this then they also define separately one verse can be defined in thousand types by different bona fide spiritual masters so if our living we are living our life like that then it is beneficial mean to say otherwise if one's friends and relatives are in distress these three cannot offer any happiness religion economic development and sense gratification purport vasudeva regretfully informed nanda maharaj that although he had his wife and children he could not properly discharge his duty of maintaining them and was therefore unhappy as he was in the prison kamsa was killing the children he was totally completely failed to go through family life to perform all his family duty so vasudeva maharaj was unfortunate text 29 sri nanda uvacha ahote now nanda maharaj is saying to vasudeva sri nanda uvacha ahote devi ki putra kamsen bahu hata eka vasishta varja kanya sapi divam gata nanda maharaj said alas king kamsa killed so many of your children born of devaki and your one daughter the youngest child of all entered the heavenly planets purport when vasudeva understood from nanda maharaj that the mystery of krishna's birth and he is having been exchanged with yashoda's daughter was yet undisclosed he was happy that things were going on nicely by saying that vasudeva's daughter his youngest child had gone to the heavenly planets nanda maharaj indicated that he did not know that this daughter was born of yashoda and that vasudeva had exchanged her with krishna thus the doubts of vasudeva were dispelled text 30 नूनम हे अदृष्ट निष्ठो अयम दृष्ट परमो जन अदृष्ट मनस्तत्व यो वेद न स मुयति एवरी मैन इज सर्टनली कंट्रोल्ड बाय डेस्टिनी व्हिच डिटरमाइंस द रिजल्ट ऑफ वंस फ्रूटिव एक्टिविटीज in other words one has a son or daughter because of unseen destiny and when the son or daughter is no longer present 
this also is due to unseen destiny destiny is the ultimate controller of everyone one who knows this is never bewildered but in the material world sometimes we try to push a lot ourselves and as per our nature we try to push other people also but all this that that is never works doesn't work completely and sometimes because of this pushing is big disaster is also there nanda maharaj purport nanda maharaj consoled his younger brother vasudeva by saying that destiny is ultimately responsible for everything vasudeva should not be unhappy that his many children had been killed by kamsa or that the last child the daughter had gone to the heavenly planets shri vasudeva uvacha करो वे वार्षिको दत्तो जाज्ञे दृष्टवा वेम चव नेहस्थे हम बहुतिथम संत्युत्ताताश गोकुले वासुदेव सेड टू नंद महाराज हाउ मेनी डियर ब्रदर सॉरी नाउ माय डियर ब्रदर सिंस यू हैव पेड the annual taxes to kamsa and have also seen me do not stay in this place for many days it is better to return to gokula since i know that there may be some disturbances there shri shukavach iti nanda deyo gopa proktaste shaurina vayu anobhiran anobhiran gun dyutex manu gyap gokulam sukdev goswami said after vasudeva advised nanda maharaj in this way nanda maharaj and his associates the cohort men took permission from vasudeva yoked their bulls to the bullock carts and started riding for gokula thus in the bhakti vedanta purports to the 10th canto 5th chapter of the shrimad bhagavatam entitled the meeting of nanda maharaj in vasudeva jay jay shri radhe no it's not end i will start chapter 6 also <laughs> still we have some time chapter 6 the killing of the demon putana a summary of the 6th chapter is as follows when nanda maharaj following the instruction of vasudeva was returning home he saw a great demoniac women lying on the road and when he heard about her death and then he heard about her death while nand maharaj the king of braja was thinking about vasudeva's words 
concerning disturbances in Gokula. He was a little afraid and sought shelter at the lotus feet of Sri Hari. Meanwhile, Kamsa sent to the village of Gokula a Rakshashi named Putana, who was wandering here and they are killing small babies. <coughs> because as we <coughs> read already, that the associate of Kamsa, they started killing all the small babies, those who were just born. By discussing with discussion of Kamsa and his uh, permission. So in between, To create some disturbances in Gokula, Kamsa sent. She was actually her sister, if I am not wrong. And her purpose was to killing baby. Of course, wherever there is no Krishna consciousness, there is the danger of such Rakshasis. Rakshasis means female demon. But since the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself was in Gokula, Utna could not, Utna could accept nothing there but her own death only. One day, Utna arrived from outer space in Gokula, the home of Nanda Maharaj, and by displaying her mystic power, she assumed the disgust of a very beautiful woman. Taking courage, she immediately entered Krishna's bedroom without anyone's permission. By the grace of Krishna. No one forbade her to enter the house or the room because that was Krishna's desire. Let her come. Let her come. She is also my mother. <laughs> No one forbade her to enter the house or the room because that was Krishna's desire. The baby Krishna resembled a fire covered by ashes looked upon Putana and thought that he would have to kill this demon, the beautiful woman. Enchanted by the influence of Yogamaya and the personality of Godhead, Uthana took Krishna upon her lap. And neither Rohini nor Yashoda objected. The demon Putana offered her breast for Krishna's to suck. But her breast was smeared with poison. The child Krishna, therefore, squeezed Uttara's breast so severely that in unbearable pain she had to assume her original body and fell to the ground. Then Krishna began playing on her breast just like a small child. When Krishna was playing, the gopis were pacified 
and took the child away to their own laps. After this incident, the gopis took precautions because of the attack of this of the rakshasi. Mother Yashoda gave the child her breast to suck and then laid him in bed. Meanwhile, Nanda and his associates, the cowherd men returned from Mathura. And when they saw the great dead body of Putana, they were struck with wonder. Everyone was astonished that Vasudeva had foretold inhabitants of Braja cut the gigantic body of Putra into pieces. But because Krishna had sucked her breast, she had been freed from all sin. And the smoke filled the air with a very pleasing fragrance. Ultimately, although Putana had desired to kill Krishna, she attended to the attend the Lord's abode. From this incident, we gain the instruction that if one is attached to Krishna somehow or other, even as an enemy, one ultimately attains success. Okay, it depends upon the person, people to people. But this is not our mood that we need any enmity with Krishna. <laughs> what then is so, what then is to be said? of devotees who are naturally attached to Krishna in love. When the inhabitants of Braja heard about the killing of Putana, and the welfare of the child, they were very much satisfied. Nanda Maharaj took the baby Krishna on his lap and was filled with satisfaction. Text 1 Shri Shuka Vacha Nanda Pati Vacha Sauren Nsheti Vichintayan Rid Jagam Shan Muttipata Sukadeva Goswami continued, My dear King, while Nanda Maharaj was on the way home, he considered that what Vasudeva had said could not be false or useless. There must have been some danger of disturbances in Gokula. As Nanda Maharaj thought about the danger for his beautiful son, Krishna, he was afraid and he took shelter at the lotus feet of the Supreme Controller. Whenever there is a danger, the pure devotee thinks of the protection and shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead.
there is no such any other place for the pure devotees because they are fixed in their istudeva. This is also advised in Bhagavad Gita. Anityam asukham lokam imam prapya rajasvamam. In this material world, there is danger at every step. Padam padam yad vipadam. Padam padam means every step. Therefore, a devotee has no other course than to take shelter of the Lord's at every step, totally surrender. So I think I should stop now over here. If any queries, something that I can satisfy you on your question, I don't know, but I can try. Only thing I will take.